DBG, De Bello Gallico, Book 1, Chapter 6. There were, uh, uh, equational phrase, all two journeys on all or all together. By which journeys, possent a uh, relative clause of uh, result, they would be able to go from home. Notice it's a uh, ablative separation. One of the uh, iters, that's why it's singular, through the sequani, who they had uh, established relationships with before. However, it was not great relationships, and it was based on Argetrix, who had just been what? Kilt by his own hand. So therefore, uh, Orgetorix was uh, trying to get rebellion going among the Sequani, probably did not succeed. So therefore, one was uh, difficult, narrow, anguish, anguish, and difficult, between Mount Yura and the river Rodanos, by which uh, route, you could say, uh, Ducarentor might be led. This is a uh, relative clause of, res of uh, result. That's why it's subjunctive. It might be led scarcely. How? Single file wagons might be led scarcely. But the high mountain was overhanging. And uh, ut plus subjunctive. Uh, why is this present? Because uh, it talks about the one route. Uh, so that uh, would be a they uh, would be able uh, per facile very easily to prohibit. Oh no, because it's a high route, a narrow cabin. It'd be tough. The other iterum understood route uh, was through our province. Oh no, the Romans are now having trouble because. This is like uh, they're coming into our neighborhood. Much more ablative of degree of difference, more easily comparative adjective being used as an adverb, by much more easily and more expeditiously, more ready, more uh, uh, fast. You can go through this quickly. Because of which, propteria code, because... Uh, that, uh, well, probably Propterico, that uh, between the boundaries of the Helweti and the Alibroges, who are the Alibroges? Well, they, if you'll remember, they had recently had been pacified by the Roman people. That means they had the snot kicked out of them, and they were now subject to the Roman people. Therefore, it was part of our province. So between the boundaries of the Helweti and the Alibroges flows the Rodanus, and that river, understood, is uh, passed, uh, is gone across by a ford. That's a shallow place where you can cross. Uh, ablative, um, probably of uh, manner, uh, means, I guess. Although I guess it would be cause since it's uh, passive. So they are, uh, who is uh, crossed by ford, in ablative place where not know or some locations. So they could ford across the river. But better than that, there's some there's a cool thing coming up. Ganawa, Geneva, it's a town, is the farthest town of the Alabroges and nearest to the territories, date of reference, of the Helveti. Out of that town, a bridge stretches to the Helweti. Oh, there's a bridge. We could cross through the bridge and get it done quickly. So the Helweti were thinking, indirect statement clause signal, verb, head verb. Where's your verb? Persuasoros. Now notice you should have an essay, but it's invisible. So that they themselves, subject phrase, would either uh, going to persuade the Alabroga. Why? Because they did not seem, it's imperfect subjunctive because it's subordinate to an indirect statement clause. They were, did not yet seem uh, in a good mind into or toward the Roman people. After all, they just got the snot kicked out of them. So we could persuade us them to use our bridge or that they would be able, that they were going to coactoros, future participle with uh, essay, to force them by violence, that 
com- uh, you know, is it an indirect command? Is it a purpose clause? I don't know. Probably purpose clause. Now, let's call it result. So they'd be able to force them by violence that they should be able to permit them, takes the dative, to uh, go through, doesn't take the dative, it's an infinitive, to uh, the AOS would be the subject phrase of ERA, to be able to go through their territories with all things having been prepared for departure, ablative absolute clause, they say or they appoint a day on which day all will uh, deliberative subjunctive, maybe it's actually a, a volative or uh, jussive subjunctive. Yeah, it's a jussive, I think. That they everybody will uh, convene to uh, the banks of the river. Um, I think that would be the best choice. Could say it was an indirect question, but it does have that concept that that's why this is uh, subjunctive. On which day all would uh, uh, convene to the banks of the river could be a relative clause of uh, purpose. For the, 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 that's with the day that they would do so. That would be a possibility as well. Relative clause of purpose with qua. That day was before the fifth day of the calends of April. Okay, calends of April, 1st of April. So it's five days before, so it's like March 25th. Ablet of absolute clause with Lucius Piso and Aldo Scabinius being consuls. Where is Caesar at this time? Well... He's not in his province. What? What's he doing not in his province when all this stuff's about to go down? Well, it's almost the end of March, and Caesar has been hanging out in the Campus Martius, where a commander who has Imperium could, it's outside of Rome, just on the outskirts, making sure that things are right with Rome. He's poised. He doesn't really want to do Gaul. He wants to go to the east and do lots of pillaging and booty in the Rakium area uh, among uh, the uh, Yugoslavians. He doesn't want to hang out with the French. He certainly doesn't want to hang out with the goodly Swiss. So he is right now outside of his province, and he's been hanging out there for almost two and a half months, uh, waiting to make sure things were right in Rome. So it's kind of cool because now when we look at the passage, we have a, a question of routes. Which route would be acceptable? Well, if, remember in the story with Orgetorix, Orgetorix was supposed to get the Sequani to be on their side. He didn't obviously get, win with the uh, Sequani elders, so he uh, worked with uh, one of the Sequani, gave him his uh, daughter as a wife uh, to create a uh, kinship bond and that they were going to overthrow the Sequani and therefore get through. Well, without Orgetorix, that linchpin in the plan, the Sequani are not exactly friends to this idea, this entire group of people crossing over. So what's your other choice? Through our province. That's the important part. Not through the province, but through our province. Because the Romans did not attack They only defended. None of their wars, they claimed, were offensive wars, only defensive. So with the Helvetii and all these other tribes coming through our province, our province, through the Roman, it wasn't called an empire at the time, but through the Roman Republic, everything uh, to the lowest uh, mailbox sign out to the farthest part of Gaul is part of the Republic. So the Romans took this very seriously that their peace would be uh, disturbed. So if one of uh, these Helvetians were coming through our province, for the Roman reader, they would be thinking they'd be coming through the back door of their uh, uh, insula in uh, the Sabura, that this was uh, dangerous for everyone. So it's very exciting. Caesar's given us the geography lesson. He set up all the players, and now we're going to find out what happens. Until the meantime, dear readers, Excelsior!